All right, so uh, I'm going to show you uh, Shield. I'm uh, not Shield. Well, this is the Shield tablet, but I'm going to show you PS4 streaming, the remote play, working on the Shield tablet. Um, it was th they ported to uh, Sony's Xperia thing phone, I think, and basically it was ported over by someone else, and it's a little complicated to install, but eventually. It's not really more complicated, more than a lot of annoying drag and drop crap, and uh, you have to change some permissions. I'll show you the tutorial in the uh, in the uh, description. Uh, I do find that you need to reinstall the Remote Play APK every single time you reboot, and also the PS4 controller. I can't get it to pair with the application. So basically, there's on-screen controls, and you can map the touch uh, the the buttons to the touch screen. So, there's that. I use TinCore for that. Um, I haven't gotten everything set up properly with that yet, but I got most of it. So, I'm connecting. Now my PS4 is on. And I'll be connecting. And this actually works better than the Vita TV, or the, the PS TV, as far as latency goes. Um, you have all the touchscreen controls is which I'm using is what I'm using to navigate with the IPEGA 9023 and uh, yeah so you'd be able to do that um, and use it touch mapping works better than the actual on-screen controls they work it works like the native controls had a few bugs with it but well except for there's one thing I'm not saying properly the R3 and L3 are a little hard to get working properly because of the way they mapped it on the screen is a double tap. So, you know. Plus, this, the touch screen controls will disappear if you don't use them for a certain amount of time, so you kind of have to bring them back by touching some uh, one of the buttons or at least the screen. Here it is. Crap of Duty Goats. Or whatever. I don't have many games for my PS4 yet. And this is something I had on the PSN. So, oh, put play multiplayer. I don't have, my camera's dead, so I'm using my phone. So, sorry about that. This is going to be a little rough to try to play this. <laughs> try to play multiplayer. Um, and try also not to have that glare on the screen. Um, yeah. Try. And say it would be successful. So, so. so you'd be able to also use an Xbox 360 controller to play your uh, your games. Maybe you could even use this to get any controller you want and just. Any controller you want to have it stream, you know, you can play with a different controller of your choice by using your Android device or something, or whatever. I'm trying to say something, and it's, I don't even know what I just did, but whatever. So let's try, try somehow. I'll, I'll have to, I'll move around and basically, that's it. I think it's going to start raining soon. They said it was going to rain today. So you have the analog sticks or anywhere analog sticks in the middle, left and right, or whatever. The only thing I was having trouble with was, uh, was like running as R3, I think it was at L3, blah, blah, blah. Eh. But uh, it was a little hard to, to do that because you can do it, it's just that you have to fight it, kind of. And then... Let's see, and the on-screen analogs have a bit of a large dead zone. Yeah, but uh, they, they work fine when you use them and stuff, and yeah, and shoot, take out the glass. <laughs> All the buttons are working. The iPeg up down and for this you do not even need to own a PC so you need root access is one thing 
uh, you need to download a whole bunch of files that you need to put in all your serv your um, your your system folders and all that shit. And everything can be done on a tablet, so that's good because root access to this device can be gained on a tablet or on the device itself. And all the APKs you can download on the internet and just replace them. And you don't need a PC at all for this, so it's not like uh, PC streaming. So there you go. There's minimal, very minimal delay. Actually, it's better than the Vita TV. It's not perfect, but it's better than the Vita TV uh, or the the PS TV, whatever. But that's that. You can also use your features here. Of course, let's see if we can get that. If we can, you can use all your share features that you have for the tablet, like this. You know, you broadcast your gameplay. If you don't have, like, you know, you could use it with um, the cam. You could use the cameras, the tablet's camera. So you know, if you don't have like a uh, PlayStation Eye to put yourself in the video or something like that, you can use this. The only thing is, you don't have the on-screen touch controls, but yeah. So you can stream to Twitch, and you can also record it 1080p, um, which even the PS4 doesn't do. Um, it does 720p 30 frames per second. This does 1080p 30 frames per second. So there you go, and you can stream out. What is it? 720p, 30 frames per second. So there you go. That's that. And you can put it on your TV and play it that way. So if you wanted to stream your games into another room, uh, I'm hoping maybe there's a way to, to find like some kind of PNG file or something or whatever to remove these on-screen controls. Maybe you can delete some kind of uh, image file. Let me get out of here because you know, I'm probably ruining everybody's game here. <laughs> And basically, yeah, uh, you get out of you get these options by clicking on that little menu icon there. You hold this down; it'll bring up the uh, thing to close the application. Close the application. Close it. And there you go. And of course, for this, you can't like bring up Netflix or anything like that. But it's it's Android, so you have Netflix, so that shouldn't be a problem. But you can also access the uh, all the share features, like. I wanted to uh, record the screen with the PS4. You can do that as well. I don't know about streaming, but I couldn't imagine why you wouldn't be able to do that. So there you go. That's that. Thank you for watching.